process with the volume builders is you're buying a obviously an off-the-plan design and it'll be prices starting from so you might think it's a three hundred thousand dollar home that you're going to buy two-story three hundred thousand dollar home that's great you go in there and say yeah that'll fit on my block you pay a little deposit to get your concept design done but they'll just pick up their design and stick it on top of your site and then the pricing process starts so then you might say oh that dining room is a bit small we'd like to make that a bit bigger so you move your dining room wall by a meter and then you might say i want different type of stairs and then as you start moving and increasing and changing the price starts to go up and like i said it's not a cheap increase you might move a wall by a meter and it adds 20 30 grand to the cost of your home for some reason that's only the the house part i mean they haven't even got you yet on your inclusions and that's everything from your doors to your skirtings and architraves to your taps to your kitchen finish and that's when the upgrade packages come out so there's, there's normally two or three stages of your upgrades so your stage one upgrades will come out at your concept design phase where they might offer you different types of doors or different types of skirting and architraves and things like that and you might start to upgrade those so you might go from a, a flush plane panel door to a um, decorative panel door and the price of the doors might go up by you know 300 percent or 200 percent to change your door and obviously then you're electrical so you want to put down lights through your house the general cost of adding a down light is probably about 35 dollars per down light they'll charge you about 180 dollars per down light Okay, so those costs go up too. So that's stage, kind of stage one. And then you'll get to the process of, okay, well, we've kind of picked most of the stuff we want to do. So we'll pay our 5% deposit and we'll go through the council process. Once it's in council, you've paid your 5% deposit. So your price might start at 300 and you say 360000 So you spend another $60,000 on all these extras so far. So then... You're in the process of getting approval. It'll come out of approval, ready to go, and they'll go, right, here's your plans, everything's ready to go. Let's look at your upgrade number two. And they'll bring out a different package now. And they'll say, oh, while we've got you and the house looks great and your adrenaline's up and you're excited, you see your approved plans, you think, oh, these look great. So they slide out book number two. And the book number two will have all your kitchen finishes. So your different bench tops, your bit different taps, stoves, things like that, all, all those packages. And the packages will always be non-complete. So there'll be certain things that'll go with the kitchen but won't be a complete kitchen package, if you know what I mean. So you might upgrade your stove and your cooktop and, and then you might do a dishwasher and then the bathroom, then you might change your taps and you might do decide to do a freestanding bath now. So those upgrades then get added on. So now we're at... Let's say we're at from a three hundred thousand. We're now at say three three eighty because we're starting to change things again internally. And then we'll we'll start to then bring out the the, the secondary package, which goes well. That'll really complement this upgrade that you've just done. So then you might upgrade the glass splashback because it suits this or a different type of tile. So then your tiling package will change because now you've picked your kitchen package, which you've upgraded, which has cost you ten grand to upgrade. They'll go oh these upgraded range of tiles will really go well with the new vanities you've got and the new kitchen you've got so why don't we look at these tiles instead they'll be bigger tiles so then they'll start to upgrade you on that and the same thing that's an exciting process your excitement's running you know when you walk in there they make sure everything's great some some of them put a sign out the front in the parking spot with your name on it when you walk in they'll give you a glass of champagne so you feel like it's really about you and then you've walked out of there spending another 50, 60 grand. I've heard from people that have gone through that process say to me, like, it's like a whirlwind. You go in there so fast and you walk out, sit in your car, about to go home, and you think, what just happened? We've just signed again for another 30, 40,000 worth of variations. And you've got to think, oh, I'm now going to try and figure out how I'm going to borrow that extra money. Now then you have to sign a, a complete contract. So you've signed off a complete contract of something from a $300,000 home when you walked in there day one you're now spending $400,000 and half of it you might not really get exactly what you want because the layout is a fixed layout. So you're not really actually changing it. You might make your dining room a bit bigger or you might make a bedroom a bit bigger. But overall, it's the same home that 50 other people in your suburb has got. And all you've done is just spend $100,000 on, on extras because nobody's going to take the standard stuff. Who's going to take 
Who's going to take a 45 or 40, 40 mil skirting that looks like rubbish? Who's going to take a flush panel plain door? Nobody. The display homes are like old school clickbait. Like you walk in there and you think, oh, taps, look at these stained bench tops, all oh, these tiles are beautiful, but it's not what you're going to get. I have the, the floor plan up on the wall in the little showroom and it'll, it'll say starting from X amount of dollars. But they don't necessarily tell you what the finished product actually costs to do, what that one you're looking at actually costs. It's phenomenal the amount of extra money that you end up spending. We're, we're reverse engineering it. We're not starting with something that you're then you're going to package out. So we're starting with your package and your design with a budget, and then we're going to reverse engineer that budget to put as much as we can into that design from there. So whereas other people are kind of, the project guys are selling you a, a base model and they're relying on you to upgrade because that's where the majority of the, the, the profit is. The profit is in the upgrades, not the standard build. The margins on their standard builds are very low. So they rely on selling you upgrades because that's where to 200% or more. For an example, a client that we knew, he went through a project build, he wanted to add a 700 millimetre long piece of cupboard and bench top to his kitchen. He got quoted, it was like, $1,800 they told him was going to cost. The kitchen guy was on site. He, he, he happened to be there and he asked the guy and he said, it's like it's 200 bucks. So the amount of markup they made on that small thing of a $200, $250 edition and they're charging him $1,800, that's where the money is. So they want you to change. They're very strategic about how they bring the upgrade packages and, and how they're mixed and matched so that once you go through upgrade package number one and you sign off on that and everything's fine, the next time you come in, they hit you with upgrade package number two, which will complement a lot of the things or that might be missing from package number one that you feel you have to get to complete that, that look or complete that feel.